Hey, everybody. Everybody, I love you out there. Let's spread the love. Let's spread art. Spread it everywhere. Um, hi. I'm Joanne, and you are at Joanne Ralston Art. This is my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're regulars, welcome. But both of you, remember, press that like button. That's that thumbs up underneath the screen. And press it or click it, whatever your device is, and make a comment when you're done. If you're new, please subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm slowly growing and I'm thrilled. And it's fun. It's given me something to do. It's an enjoyment. It's a pleasure. Um, today, we are going to do the three blooms that I wanted to do last time. And we're using a Convexo canvas again that I had scrapped because I messed it up. And what I painted just didn't come out to my pleasing. Art's a uh, thing that it's it's got to be pleasing to the eye of the painter. And if it is, then it's a masterpiece. Um, it also has to be pleasing to the eye of the seer, but we have to be happy with it before we can present it to you to make you happy with it. That's just the way art goes. Anyway, like I said, we're going to do a three blooms on a convexo, and I am going to use my, I think it's called air gun, air paint gun. My brain, it's one of those days. Anyhow, um, that's what I'm going to use. And while I'm running my mouth, I could be easily covering my canvas. This is Liquid Basics White, Titanium White. Um, the pouring medium is a little bit of GAC, a little bit of Liquitex, pouring medium, and Floetrol. I usually put one part or a splash of GAC. Um, one part to one and a half parts of uh, Liquitex pouring medium and then I use the rest flow trough and then when I'm mixing my paints with that I add water if I need to thin down my paints after I've used the pouring medium I better not put that away until I see if it goes to the sides. I like to cover my canvas good. And I don't, even though I'm blowing out, I don't like to have a huge pillow. I, I just don't like the thick pillow. I feel like, um... I've got my paints thin enough to move, and uh, I don't want to leave too much paint on the canvas so it won't crack, which it usually doesn't when you use Liquitex, um, I'm sorry, GAC 800, and, uh, but I do come back and put a little bit extra, and, uh, And I find that the the bottom paint comes up too much when you start blowing too. Let me get a paper towel. Oh, and I forgot something. I was gonna show you. Oh, I'm so bad about that. Um, oh, I can't show you. 
the dried results of the last video because I'm doing this video right after it. I will put a picture, I do know how to do that, um, if I can. And then if not, the next video, I will show you both baitings. But anyway, after I did the um, 10 by 20, and it, the one with the wispies, the fingerlings, um, after I did that one, I was try, I was recording another video. And I got halfway through the video, halfway through the painting, and my phone flashes that the storage is full. And I can't record the rest of the video. So I couldn't give you half a video. That just wouldn't, that wouldn't be right. So anyway, I deleted it and I spent two and a half days cleaning my phone out, getting rid of apps I don't use anymore. Um, I got me, oh, if you don't have it, get Google Photos. Um, it doesn't cost anything. It has a huge storage and it took all my photos and I was able to delete them all on my phone. I called my son to make sure it was safe and uh, and it, it, it's wonderful. So my phone is all cleared out of photos. So I have plenty of room for videos and we'll see how many it'll hold. And But I'll be transferring it to my computer when I get that taken care of. So anyway, for the blooms. Now this time, I gotta be careful and not to put too much bait. So don't let me do that. First, let me put you down to the canvas. Okay. There you go. And if anybody has a good suggestion on um, tripods that can look over top the canvas, can look at the person, can look down at the canvas like it is now, please put a website or a suggestion in the, in the comment and let me know, because I have got coming. I'm still looking, I'm hunting to find me a decent tripod that will give me the effects that you guys need to have while I record these videos so you can see what's going on. Okay, I remembered to do that. Now I'm gonna do one bloom at a time because I find when using um, my air gun, and I hope and pray the battery is charged, that the paint starts spreading out too far and I don't get the look that I want. So we're going to do one at a time. All right, let's start. This is, I cannot pronounce it, Ozarine, Oz, Ozarine Crimson Basil by Liquitex. And that's going to be the first color that I put down. And it seems to be coming out slow. A little more. Okay. The next color favorite color is green. This is Arteza Pearl Royal Purple. I used it in the last video. I didn't have time to mix up another one. Um, I didn't 
didn't have time to mix up some orange. So I'm using Orange Crush by Prism Pour and I'm not mixing it. I'm just going to pour it right on. And I'm going to hope that that works. Um, and what the heck. This is Arteza Pearl Electric Blue. And this is Ocean Green by Master's Touch. And I'm just I'm just gonna do drops because of the what I'm going after. But I'm gonna use a lot of color. This, this is kind of an experiment. And this is this little piggy. This little piggy lily pad. You know that's my favorite and I want to make sure let's just do it this way and then this is Amsterdam's primary yellow so I want a little yellow in there and then this of course, is Deco Art 24 karat gold. Who doesn't use that? I wanted some gold today. I didn't use gold last time. Now, let's torch that, make sure we don't have any air bubbles. Shake up our cell activator to stimulate it. And there is black, which is Amsterdam's oxide black. And this is Amsterdam's titanium white. One part paint and three parts Australian Floetrol. All right, this is, I don't know how loud this will be for you guys, but here goes. It shouldn't be too loud. Look at that, it sucked up that white cell activator. can move it, can't I? <laughs> I can't get used to that, being able to turn it. I'm getting a lot of sales. parts and my machine came off into my painting I'm trying to stimulate that white cell activator so I don't have to blow <laughs> cheating has a sharp point at the tip. It got me. 
Oh, that's pretty. I hope you guys can see that. I'll bring it down for a close up here when we get done. All right. Um, I don't know if I want to switch it up. That was that weird name <laughs> that I couldn't pronounce. That was the Arteza Pearl Purple. Oh, and I just spilled the lily pad. Oh, it's a good thing I got a puppy pad down. Okay, here's Master's Touch Light Purple. Let's put a little bit of that in this time. And let me see here real quick. Give me just a second. I'm going to try to... Scoop up some of this paint. It landed on my puppy pad, but I have my puppy pad. I learned this from Christina Welch. Put your puppy pad with the back side up. And then you can scrape the drippings off for any paint spilled. You can scrape it off and you won't get all those fuzzies in it. And the electric blue. And also what I've found, discovered myself because I've done it many a times is I scrape it off then I pay, take a paper towel and wipe it off then I take my water spray bottle and spray it off and then it's clean and I can use it again and I can usually get it used three or four times oh, I did it again I don't want that much in there um, And then, you know, you you got a late night of painting. And you scrape off, but you're tired. You want to go to bed. You don't want to do all that cleaning up. Leave it. Let it dry. The next time you paint, turn it over. And use the cloth side. And then after you use that once, throw it away. And then that way your puppy pads last longer. They're not the cheapest things in the world. My paints are not wanting to come out of their bottles. I'm gonna have to go, or I'm not opening them enough. I'm gonna have to go clean them. Okay. I see a couple bubbles. Let's get rid of them. One, there's two, there's three. Got them. A little bit of black. And a little bit of white. And do you know what I should have done? I should have used the gold cell activator I made. I'll use that in the next video. And here we go. And that is just shrinking that white cell activator down to nothing real fast. This turns out something pretty. Last time I used this, I really got a really pretty. And I think 
think I've already shown you. Just kind of turquoisey flowers. And I lost a lot of my cell activator. I don't have much in the center. Should I or shouldn't I? Let's put just a drop. Spread it out and see if we get cells. It's all a part of learning to paint. Experiments. And I did. And it really didn't hurt the one that much. I'm gonna spin it anyway. How's everybody been? How's everybody's weather been? Isn't it crazy? One day, we have beautiful 70 degree weather. The next day, we have hail hitting us. When we went to the um, ax throwing that I told you about in the last video, um, <laughs> we got out of the car and a hailstorm hit. Man, that is unpleasant. That hurts. I'm going to switch my oranges. I'm going to use an Arteza. This is Arteza's pearl orange. I just didn't want to have too much pearls while I got the other one. And, but I don't like how it was coming out of the bottle. I got sales there. All right. We got black cell activator. And we have white cell activator. I wish I could get you in close while I'm doing that. It starts sucking that white up. Let's see if I can get it to... There we go. It really turned out different with using a different orange, just changing one color. Well, it wasn't a color so much, but the brand of color and the consistency of the color. It changed it. Well, that's okay. Now we have two different types of flowers. And do you know what? I forgot to put the gold in there. I did, I did. That was another thing. See, I wish you guys could talk to me. And then I would know what the heck I was doing when I mess up. Maybe I wouldn't mess up so much. <laughs> I just love doing this though. It is so relaxing. It's fun to experiment and see what you come up with. I tell you, art is 
therapy. It definitely is. I mean, think about it. Um, institutions. Why did I close up? Um, hospitals. They always have artsy things for the patients to do. And it's, it's relaxing. It's soothing. You know, they do arts and crafts with them. Keeps their hands busy. Their minds busy. I don't want to leave the gold out of it again. Um, but you know, even if you just color, you know, pick up some crayons and color. Pick up a pencil and doodle. Um, sketch. Um, color pencils. If you got kids, grab their coloring books. And just sit down and color after you put them down for a nap. And relax, chill, put them to bed, sit down and color. Um, you can use crayons. You can get adult coloring books now. But you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils. They have colored pencils now that you color and then you take a wet brush and get it wet and it looks like watercolors. Um, you can get acrylics and paint and coloring books. Or they have uh, acrylic and watercolor paper so you don't have to buy the canvases. You can buy canvases and do this. Um, there's oil painting. You know, there is so much out there. And whether you're good or bad at it, play with it. Explore with it, enjoy it, relax with it, you know, make it your fun time, you know. You don't have to be going 25 miles an hour every single day, and we're sitting alone with nothing to do but watch TV. Um, I do this plus I quilt. I have a quilting studio upstairs. It's bigger than my living room and that was the only re way I was going to move back out here into the country. I uh, told my husband I get to draw the blueprints and I get a quilt studio. And then now <laughs> I want a paint studio. He said go to the basement. So I'm in the basement. but. If, my way, if I had my way, eventually there'll be some walls made and some decent flooring put down and proper lights put in. He put me some overhead, good overhead lights in where I paint, but I want some more around me. And, uh, you know, he took care of me. And I have a friend who buys pallets and does auctions and she's helped me get all my bookshelves and everything on my tables and stuff like that that I needed and she's given my husband pallets so he can build me a drying rack and um, so you know it's been fun getting to where I am. And every time I hear somebody mention a color, I write it down and I buy it. <laughs> so I have it in stock. And uh, in case I want to use it, you just never know. I might see somebody do something that I'm just totally crazy about. And let me tell you, you cannot, you cannot copy anybody's art. It will not look the same. Um, I knew that, but there's one painting of Molly's artistry that I just love. She sometimes has it behind her. It, it looks like fluffy tubes 
of color and clouds. It's just so pretty. And I uh, talked to her about it and I said, I know, I know I can't duplicate it. But I want to know every single color and every, exactly how you mixed it. And I'm going to study you. I didn't tilt it the same way she did. So it came out differently. I'll have to show you that one sometimes. Sometime. Um, but, you know, I like the way mine came out. But I still, I want it the way hers is so bad. You, you, can't, you can't duplicate someone else's art. You can't, you know, the way we put it on the... You can do it exactly the way we put it on the canvas and it's still not gonna, it's not gonna duplicate. So don't worry about it. Um, have fun with it, you know, do what they did and see how yours turns out. It's gonna turn out different, but it, it'll be beautiful. And you learned a new technique. You know, it's just... It's just the way it is. Should I put something there or should I just leave it? Let's just leave it. Let's torch again. And then let's spin this baby out and see what we get. Not as pretty as the one I did for Nate. Boy, I love that one. And he wants it varnished. He said it gets too much sunlight and the sun just is too much um, for resining. Oh, colors are coming out. Am I making everybody dizzy? crazy to sit and watch something like this but if you speed it up and it's gonna be even dizzier and actually those who paint need to see how fast you're actually going there are some people who like to just whip it which is just spin it really fast I'm kind of on the medium end sometimes I'm slower than this, but this is kind of medium fast. And I just, I want to watch it slowly come. Look at, let me get that around there. Look at that flower and what it's doing. And these center flowers, I don't want to do much. They're trying, but I'm probably going to have to spin them off just to get these guys stretched out. I might have to whip it. Okay, the excess paint's coming there. Let's go the other way. And that's pretty much in the center. It's doing well. If you if you spin it too fast, it might come to a point where you want to stop and you don't want to go any further. And you would pass it up if you were spinning too fast. Let's go one more time. I didn't get a very good spin. That's a slow one.
on your spinner, when you do that, I don't know how you can save the drippings there. I've tried a few times and it just hasn't worked and I've gotten a bunch of crap in the paint. And uh, when I do pick up scrapings, I have this handy. And I have a scrape bucket. But I have this. And it's a little strainer. And I put the scrapings through this as it goes into the container that I keep the drippings or the scrape offs of a paint I, painting I didn't like or something I spill. I spilled one time, I think I've already told you guys in an earlier video, a whole big cup. One of those big, tall cups that you get at one of the to-go places like McDonald's or something, the big ones. I had done a big black because I knew I was going to use it on a couple paintings and then by the time I got done using it, what I had left, I could put in a bottle. And then I'd have paint already mixed up for me. Okay. I don't know if I did this, so I'm going to do it again. Uh, I'm not real crazy about that bright orange. But, it's kind of pretty. It's different. It's got a lot of different colors in it. Let me see if I can get you closer. I'm just going to move the whole tripod. What do you think? Is it a keeper? got some pretty lacing in here and that gold sparkled. I wish I'd put gold in these two. I'm getting paint all over my arm. Um, over here it's got some pretty lacing. And I like how this is swooping. That orange, I may have to, after it dries, go in and lighten that orange up. It just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And then I might brush some gold into these. We'll have to wait and see. So tell me if it's a keeper or not. Let me... Oh, there's some pretty lacing in the turquoise blue. I love the gold in here on that one. And there's there's the ones I was talking about, the swoopies. And then here's the gold around this one. And see that orange just, I don't know. We're going to lighten that orange up. I know that. I may lighten it up with the pearl orange. And I may even lighten that one up some more. So, but there it is. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is it a keeper? Or is it a goner? So... I want to thank everybody. I hope you enjoyed the painting. Like I said, as soon as I learn to edit, you'll see the dry results at the end. Everybody take care. Everybody take care of each other. Spread the love. Spread the love of art. Spread the love of painting. Go to your happy place. So, all right. Goodbye. Everybody take care. I love you. Be good or be good at it. See you later. Bye.